彼はもうね、見て、相手これ作っておいてやるかどうか。Thank you. 
now share with him to the glory. Respect 
to your friend, your brother, your cousin. That's why you are here. Okay? So, that's important. So, you really need to have the talking and the dining on the outside. Today is not a day about dining. Today is the reverent and pain of our master. The dear beloved friend, brother, cousin, uncle, give me a receipt as we listen to the world. Yes, 
standard is that you let into the team, play games all over Trinidad and Tobago, and even going to St. Vincent with his, with his teammates from the club he represented. The club he represented, Playboys, we recognize him there to be here today, and some of his members, some of the members of that team, is here today. Lex, Askedush, Lake, Red John, and just to name a few. Just to say a little bit about the, about the cricket. I personally was one of his big fan. Big fan in the sense that living in Salon, and every time they play a game on weekends, I used to ensure that I come down to school. Score for the two days because I love I, I have loved to see him back. And I mentioned earlier that he's the master of cricket. I'll say something like I always used to feel me like close to the master blaster. Because he really could have he really could have struck the ball gracefully. And the captain is here today, he, he probably could say that too, you know. And I always remember a particular house close in the field. Mr. Vidal, what is it? Huh? Yes. Mr. Vidal always used to say, boy, you're breaking the glass, windows are there, man. Because he always strikes it very hard. One particular time I remember in a game, that is a record. Six consecutive fours in over. And that man went, to, even though it was a competitive game, the guy went to the other end and directly in the film because he was really good. So, great talent. Great talent also on table tennis, on the table tennis board. And mind you, I know he could have played, played for Trinidad. Or you so because many times they call that young man to go for trials, he never go. He always has something, either he's broken or he's having fun. Right? So he never takes time to really go and, and say, I will I will play a representation and I'll have to But I know he had the talent and the guts to do that. Latifo was also a great chef. Something I just remember, like, I just want to mention it to you. I so love the cricket. He, he used to bowl the fan and bat right hand. Tell you what. Chef, a great chef, when he uses the fan for sports, but he was a boss chef in the kitchen. Cooking his pork and dumpling, curry stew, pork head, stew, stew big foot with provisional with all the meals enjoyed by his friend, Skinny, Dexter, and the rest of the crew who were alive in there. Always a joy, always a kind hearted soul. He ensured his friends were happy and their bellies full and plenty drinks. I to sell, to, to sell all the food a little bit again. Since being his neighbor of recent times, I come home late at night or 11 o'clock. Anytime I, I notice that his door is open, rest assured, he is anxiously waiting to pass my plate. You know? So he always ensures that whenever he go, Philip gets up for so I thank him for that. Carnival, cool and quiet as he may be to appear. Most would have known him that his favorite time was Carnival. Every year, he looked forward to Calypso Fiesta. And especially this year, with Carnival returning, he was still excited. He made sure to always carry all 
the bag filled with all his goodies. And not, and not a small one that every single thing he moved in with. He was ensuring that everything fit in the bag so that everyone and everyone could get something for, from him. I'll tell you this. When you reach in the park, we know all the goodies and all the park and stuff like that for food. Nobody eating until Philip eats. So they could be hanging around for food, and I always, I come in late, so you will always say, when Philip reach, when Philip reach. So sometimes as I reach, men ask him, hey, eat quick. <laughs> you know? So he really, uh, like to take part in the carnival activity. Well, as you all know, I must talk about Juve morning. You can say you can say that he really encompasses the spirit of carnival. Not an almost character competition will pass, and he will not enter. He portrayed characters like Jepstein, Jepstein Menina, Water Mini Road, the Doctor's Daughter, and, and this year, this year, this year, he portrayed Mother of All Cannibal. So this aspect of him is that he always take time and prepare for for his Calypso Fiesta and his old man's competition. And that depicts the character of Neville to say that he enjoyed himself till the end. Because Juve Morning, he played Wonderful Carnival and died Tuesday morning around 7.45. So it means that he did it his way and he enjoyed down to the end, doing two of his favorite things. Like that. And, and, and you know, Lex will even tell you that he would, um, he would always say when it's called Sophia that I didn't play no cricket. Okay? So, just to continue and try to wrap up. When he's coming with a customer idea and going by the costume makers, then he's the end. And before then, they never knew what he was going to play until the day. Talk about clothes, he wore for the characters, and we only have memories of that. One of my favorite memories, I could really sum it up to you all. His birthday on the 13th of October last year. I told him that I will sponsor people day. Do go and get no money, I will take care of things, you know. That was a mistake I made. <laughs> mistake in the sense that I told him I would really would have just provided some drinks and stuff like that. You know? So I provided the drinks on the day as a farm, the day before the birthday, and give him all this stuff. But then later he then he come and he bring a list. A list. The man bring a list for me and telling me. This is the other thing that I get. I said, but I didn't do that. Uh, was you going to do that? Never reply was, you know about Google? I wanted to call Google the word sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> and you will realize that sponsor means sponsor everything. So I really had to, for, I had to go through that and really sponsor everything that he asked for. And 
people say, I really coming back to Pinal and living in Pinal now. I really enjoy his company, and we were developing a good relationship. He was able to construct my my part of the apartment, and he always have a favorite word to it. He always said, "Boy, I don't like you, but I'm going to protect you." <laughs> you understand? He wanted to make sure that the house was well, the apartment was well protected, all the same. So. Once again, in the great celebration, I celebrate a man who really enjoyed his life to the fullest. When he landed with his friends, he had really had a good time. And not forgetting the children, he always supplied the children with whatever goodies that he could give them. So we thank him and In ending, I know today people will say we are mourning the death of him. But I am saying to you all, I am celebrating the life of Neville Latipo Pa, and would like to hold some of those great memories. I know some of you all will have also have great memories of him. I do have and I will cherish to the end. So, thank you all for being here and may God rest in peace, never freeze.
can say not wrong with the late Latin. Saturday morning we find that our normal routine we go collect papers, Lennox, Latin, I and my kid are Roland, sit down with Phyllis, and we will talk about current affairs, headlines, sports. You drink a beer, you might drink coffee. I like to say, boy, I pay my own mass Monday morning. All right? Tuesday morning, I pass in a peak. I saw his door open. That's about 6 30 minutes or 7. I said, all right, come in this one. He did not come while I was here. So I left and went home. And I was going in my garden, I got food. Feel this crying. Lati dead. I said, what? What are you talking about? I just see Lati dead. How oh, Lati dead? Lati dead. Well, I leave everything. Well, I my best friend, one. Last three years, I've lost a lot.
my brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who by dying on the cross has freed us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us pray for our brother Neville, that he may share in Christ's victory. And let us pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us the gift of his loving consolation. O oh God, in whom sinners find mercy and saints find joy, we pray to you for our brother Neville, whose body we honor with Christian burial, that he may be delivered from the bonds of death, and met him to a joyful company of your saints, and raise him up on the last day to rejoice in your presence forever. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 The seats as you listen to the readings. Oh, 
now is the favorable time. This is the day of salvation. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. And save us. The other one 
he looked at Jesus. And he looked at the guy who was ridiculing Jesus. And he said to him, you know what? We have done wrong. We have paid for our sins. We were found guilty. But this man did nothing wrong. And he turned to Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. And Jesus responds to him, Today, you will be with me in paradise. We are here to remember never and to pray for him. Throughout our lives, brothers and sisters, Never may have inspired us often by the good that he has done, by his words, by his examples. He at some times would have been an inspiration to all of us on the cricket field, in his trade, and his leisure time as he embraced the culture of Trinidad and Tobago. Throughout his lifetime, he would have been an inspiration to all of us. So today, as we gather to pay our last respect to Neville and to reflect, we also reflect on Jesus and his love and his power. Jesus' power over them. My brothers and sisters, we know from our own lives and our own experience that people, people are spiritual at different times in their lives and in different ways. Some people, from the time they are young, feel drawn to God feel drawn to reading the Bible, feel drawn to going to church. For others, it may take a while. Hence the reason, as we reflect on the two persons, one on the left and one on the right, one ridiculing Jesus, and one crying out to Jesus and acknowledging his mistakes, acknowledging his, his shortcomings, and asking Jesus at the last moment, Lord, I want you to remember me. Jesus comes to the forefront of all of us today. As Neville lies in that coffin, we will always remember his journey, his life, and what and how we will remember him for all the good he has done, for all the times he had inspired us to do the things on the cricket field. To be a better bowler, bowler, to be a better batsman, if it is a straight, to be a better straightsman, and if it is embracing the culture. You know, I was looking at social media and I saw um, a lot of people, as you call them, play this normal old man sit up for every year. And he always come up with they think what is the time, what is the season, the current, current things that is going on. And this year he came out with what? Mother, that's what, it, that's what was banned here all this year. We are having the mother of all carnival. And living up to his expectation, he came out with that ban, mother of all carnival. Many of us may not understand, or some of us may understand. Sometimes we feel that there is no 
spirituality and there is no good in carnival and everything in it must be condemned. As Roman Catholics, we don't believe in that. Roman Catholics, we believe God embraces everything. He embraces music. He embraces dance. He embraces theater. He embraces all these things. We are not talking about the evil that comes out in some of those things. We as human Catholics always embrace what is good. Things that makes people enjoy themselves. Because when God created man and he created the earth and he looked at it, what he did? Not me, not you. He blesses it and he said it was good. So, our brother Latipo, as he received his final rites today, as I said, some people's spirit, spirituality comes at different stages in their lives. Some from very young, some at the middle of their age, and some at their dying moments. So as you think, over Latipo's life, since he died those past few days, what would have crossed our minds about him? How many of us probably say, you know what? The last thing he did was cannibal, that was so bad. We don't think like that. We think that it's all part of God's creation and it is made to be celebrated. All good things are to be celebrated. So, the two murderers or the two condemned men in the sight of Jesus. One of that person we want to reflect on. That one person who admitted his shortcomings. That one person who admitted his faults. And he turned to Jesus and asked Jesus, Jesus, look upon me. Have mercy on me. Remember me, Lord, when you come into your kingdom. And today our prayer for Brother Neville Lantipo is that God will remember him when he comes into his kingdom. We remember the good times and all the good things that he has done on this earth as he journeyed through his life, as he went through all of us, we have shortcomings, we need mistakes. You see, thank God for Jesus, who is a God of compassion, a God of mercy, a God of love. And when we listen to the reading, the gospel reading today, I always love that gospel. It's a beautiful gospel that we must well embrace. Listen to what it says to us. God is saying to us, my brothers, and all of us, all nations, all people, small and great, will stand before him on the day of judgment. All people. So that include all of us. Including Latipo. He will stand before God. And God will begin to separate. God will begin to separate. And as he begin to separate, these are his words, not mine. 
When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was sick, I was in the hospital, you came, you visited me. I was in prison, and you visited me. I was a stranger, and you embraced me, you welcomed me into your home. And we will have a time to reply, to respond to God, to respond to Jesus when He speaks to us. And our response, but Lord, when did I do that? I can't remember seeing you. I didn't know. I don't know whenever I fed you. When did I see you hungry, Lord? When did I see you naked, Lord? When did I see you a stranger and visit you? And his words, when you do it to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do it unto me. You see, my brothers and sisters, this gospel, these words are important for all of us. In other words, Jesus is telling us, as we continue to live our life here on earth, we must love one another. We must show respect to one another. We must take care of each other. And when you do that, you do it unto me. So every time you do something good, my brothers and sisters, every time that you do something good or say something good, he was not just doing it to himself. He was not just doing it to his family or you. He was doing it to God. Rest assured, the words in the gospel are true. And if Jesus said that, it is true. In other words, I am not seen in the gospel where Jesus will ever ask, you ask, what church are you to go to? What day you was baptized in this church? How many times you went to church? Lex? I'm not seeing that. Those are not the questions that he would ask, ask you. Right, Lex? He will ask you. When I was hungry. When I was eager. When I was in prison. Alone. Abandoned. He never visited me. In other words, he's talking about our relationship with all the people sitting down next to this morning, this evening. See the people sitting next to this evening? God wants us to have a relationship with that person. God wants us to love that person. The person is sitting next to your family at home. The people that you meet on the street, especially the ones who like to irritate you, he wants you to have a relationship with them. And what he say? When you have a relationship with them, you are having a relationship with me. So, if you want to be assured of a place, because that poor journey on earth has come to an end today. And there is a new beginning for him. And that new beginning is that of eternal life. And in that new beginning, he will stand before his maker. Just as you and I will stand before our maker, and surely he will give an account. We must answer this question. The important thing for us today, my brothers and sisters, is to develop good relationship with the people that we meet every day, the people that we meet in the street. Love the God that dwells within them. Because this body is God's temple and He dwells. See God in the face. Of the other person. 
we are countries in a state today because we are not seeing God and we are another person so we can wipe out a human life just like that. No remorse, no regret. Because we have not seen that person as a child of God, created in the likeness and the image of God. If you can only see people's face, you can see God dwelling within them. This world, our own country, will be one of the best in the world. So, I don't want to bore you too much, but I want the message to get home to you. God has given all of us the opportunity to come to this final rites for that team. So you can listen to this word. You probably heard it more than once. But the team probably it will bring a deeper meaning to you. And that meaning, my brothers and sisters, is to see God in each person. When you develop a relationship with your neighbor, with your friends, that relationship, in other words, our relationship with God, our love to God really manifests in how we treat the people. How I can say I love God, I've never seen Him, and the people that I see every day, I hate them like that, don't like them. Like that. Jesus has said with us, my brothers and sisters, let us do good. And when we do good, we do it unto God. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
For never will baptism was given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. For a brother who aid the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. For our deceased relatives and friends, and for all who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. For the family and friends of a brother now, that they may be consoled in their grief by the Lord, who wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. Lord, hear us. For all of us assemble here to worship and faith, that we may be gathered together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. God, our shelter and our strength, you listen and love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers we offer for our departed brothers and sisters. Cleanse them from their sins and grant them the fullness of redemption. We ask this through Christ our oh Lord. Amen. Amen. I invite for six family members to stand around the coffin and see if you find the right. We pray as the Lord has told us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust us against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. If you have it, six. No, not those. Not those. Before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our brother. May our fear express our affection for him. May ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day we shall joyfully greet him again, when the love of Christ conquers all things, destroy even this itself.
way to the earth. In the spirit of faith, in the resurrection of Jesus Christ of the dead, let us offer our prayers for now. Because God has chosen to call our brother Neville from this life himself, we commend his body to the earth, for we are dust, and unto dust we shall return.
So we turn. Um, you are invited to our third burial at that year cemetery to return to the home for a moment. Never may the angels lead you into paradise. May the matters come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the cries of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham and where Lazarus is for no longer. May you find eternal rest. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.
fresh air at the door. Yeah. And time. <laughs> that time the very no. Any time. So yeah, you want before I close down the casket, I give everybody a final opportunity before I close the casket. Anybody? Yeah, yeah, people coming. Meet me by the river, son and Meet me by the river, not far away. When my Jesus called me home, happy, happy woman, the other side. Meet me by the river, someday. Meet me by the river, someday. Meet me by the river. What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! Angels fall before Him, heaven and earth adore Him. What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God! What a mighty God we serve! What a mighty God we serve! Lord Jesus Christ, by three days you lay in the tomb. You made holy the graves of all who believe in you. Lord Jesus Christ, by three days you lay in the tomb. You made holy the graves of all who believe in you. Rest in and peace. even though their bodies lie on earth, they trust that they, like you, will rise again. Give our brother peaceful rest in this grave. Until that day, you, the resurrection and life, will raise him up in glory. Then he may see the light of your presence, Lord Jesus in the kingdom where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Christ was the first to raise from the dead, and we know that he will raise the mortal power of the Lord. our brothers to the Lord. May the Lord receive him into his speech and raise his body in the last day. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. Let the better light shine upon him. May he rest in peace. Amen. This is my story, this is my song, this is my savior, all of This is my story, this is my song. Raising my Savior, all of me love. Perfect submission, this is my story, this is my song, this is my savior, all of the love. This is my story, this is my song, this is my savior.